Hey guys, this is Eric Harper G, and back when, when we last left off, I had gotten the big key to this dungeon, and now I'm going to get the chest that the key has, that it opens. And we're going to get through the rest of this place. Oh right, I forgot about that. We got the fire rod. This dungeon's very weird, but there's a very straightforward path to it. So what you have to do is Go up through here, go inside, and run to the left. Do it a couple more times. A lot of these doors are just meant to make you waste time. So it helps you to really know where you're going. This is what you have to do. You see this? Well, we can't slash at it, and we can't bomb it, but we can set it on fire. Be mindful of your MP in this place, though. That's why having your MP cost reduced is very helpful here. Yeah, you kind of have to go around a couple times. There's a really quick way to defeat these guys, but I'm going to conserve my MP. I'm pretty sure I still have a fairy left. Get the key, go through the door, hit these switches. Ah, there's two ways you can handle this. Of course, if you goof, then it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, that was annoying. I thought I could escape him. Yeah, let's get myself killed while I'm at it. Please tell me that these things regenerate. Good. I need hearts. Let's just take out all these guys at once. If 
All right, what we need to do here is, of course, that it's probably the most hardest thing you can do here. I'd like to use Bombos, but I've already used so much of my MP yet. So, uh, I'm gonna chance it anyway, though. Screw it. What? That's lame. Alright, this is where it gets a little interesting here. I'm going to put the good B to use, finally. Look at him go! Let's put this guy out of his misery, though. That's all it takes. Yay, the clutches of evil monsters. Great cataclysm. Nothing to do with World of Warcraft, people. So yeah, I have to fight Ganon. Great. Only the Chosen One! Yes, please don't repeat that to me. And I was wrong before that. I was thinking of uh, Link's Awakening where you found two of those monsters that increased your magic powder and uh, bombs, respectively. And I can get more bombs, so I'm going to get up to 50 of those. As long as I get out of here, I don't care. Ha ha. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was terrible. I also remember where uh, that treasure chest is. Was a little reckless. It's, 
Yeah, actually it is here. See this chest? We've got to take it somewhere special. Now if you jump off a ledge with the chest behind you, you're only going to have to go back and pick it up. So we have to take the slow way around. Oh. You can't run with it either. That's another thing that sucks. Maybe you can follow you down ledges. I just know you can't run with it. This is what you're supposed to do with it. First of all, I'm going to use the mirror, because we're going to come back here. Oh, whoops. That should do. Sure, you used to be a thief, right? Well, open chest for you. Keep it a secret from everyone? Promise not to tell. I'm absolutely lying. But, uh... Actually, let's keep that up and open. Wait, there is a... I'm trying to remember where that... Oh, I know where it is. It's back in the village. Oh, that might not be necessary now. I wonder if I could summon the bird here. Nope. It doesn't work in the dark world. You kind of have to rely on going to the light world, then finding a portal somewhere. Ah, uh, I'm not going that way. Does this thing tickle? Aw. Magic transporter. See, it's another hint. You can talk to some of the trees here. They might say something helpful. We're just going to do some item collecting before the next dungeon. Speaking of which, there's only one way to get there. I'm skipping ahead again, as well. We don't want to go in there. Not yet. I don't know if there are portals in the Dark World. I don't think there are. See this? Oh, wait. We can't do this one yet. I almost forgot. These things hurt. Look at that damage. I think we can actually warp here. Oh wait, I was thinking of something else.
This is where the sanctuary used to be. Nah, I don't want to hear what you have to say. He's kind of funny looking, though. In fact, in one of the buildings, it's actually a hand. It's funny. I'm trying to remember where the cape is. This might be it. Gee, I wonder what it could be. Oh, it's a heart piece. Happens for sometimes. Rubies. Oh, you're kidding me. I got screwed out of that. Not for long, though. Now, there is something in here, I think. I just can't remember where it was. Something other than that one place. Yeah, it's right here. Oh. I'm supposed to dash into it. That's right. And we get the magic cape. Now we can go get that heart piece. Whoop! There we go. And I think it's time to upgrade our uh, weaponry. Now we could go to the fifth level first, but even though I'm gonna stop by there to increase my arm or my stuff, this is why we need the cape. Because when we use it, we can go through that thing. It's another heart piece. Wow. I'm gonna die here. Aren't I? Nope, I got a fairy. I almost want to shut that up right now. Again. Ah, there's nothing here. Whoops. I need to get the fairy fountain right now.
There, those are the apples you can pick up, and they'll restore a heart piece each. Interesting thing, a game called Soleil, your heart pieces are apples. Now, I could... Um... Dang, that's not what, I, not what I wanted to do. But oh well. But I could, uh... Get more magic potion, but nah, I'm gonna go over here instead. Yeah, we need to make a pit stop in the light world first. And we can't get that yet, but we can do something about it. That's how we get into the sixth dungeon, or the fifth dungeon, but we're not going there just yet. 50 rubies. Big trouble in Little China. This is going to take a while, folks. Actually, yeah. Probably going to end the episode here. I'll do all of this off-screen. Because this might take a while. And I'm sure you don't want to see it all. So, see you later.